Hey everybody, Mr. Bookie Boo here, and today I have something really exciting I want to share with you. Now, it is not my new and improved Java's Palace, which you see right in front of you. I'm actually going to be doing a video on that real soon, uh, so keep your eyes out on YouTube, and uh, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. It, there's a lot of cool details that I've added to my new and improved Java's Palace. But today, what I want to share with you is my custom Java's Sail Barge. So as you know, over the years, Lego has come out with two different versions of the sail barge. The uh, first one um, was kind of a, uh, it actually, it was actually interesting because they actually used um, ship hull, the front, front parts of the ship hulls upside down in the front here to make this front slope. And then the second version is a little more blockier and it used these slopes kind of like how I did. So what you see in front of you is kind of a hybrid. What I've done is I basically took so what I felt were the best elements of the two sail barges and kind of combine them into the design that you see right here. Now my sail barge is a little bit longer than both of the official models. And of course it also has a lot more detail. So without further ado, we're gonna kind of zoom in a little bit and give you guys a better look at some of that detail that we have here. So the very first thing you'll notice is uh, the front nose. So I've got a little bit more of a slope on it. I, I, I looked at a lot of pictures from Return of the Jedi of the official sail barge and tried to capture as best as I could in Lego the overall look and feel of the sail barge. Um, and so that's kind of the result. I, I preferred the slopes as opposed to the upside down ship holes of the original. And so that's kind of the result that you see right here. Moving along, you can see, of course, we have the full top deck. We have the two sails on the top. And then underneath the second sail here is the deck gun from... Uh, where, where Leia grabs the gun and points it at the deck and actually blows up the sail barge. So this gun is based on the actually the original from the original sail barge. Um, and as you can see, it rotates and it actually pivots upside, uh, upside down, up and down. <laughs> and so you can actually point it at the deck and blast poor Jabba's sail barge away. Um, the other thing, and then of course there's the top part here. I'm still adding a few details here and there. I'd say at this point, this model is about 90% complete. Um, I haven't played around too much with it over the last couple of months because I've been too busy working on the city. But every now and then I'll come back to it and I'll add a little bit more um, you know, detail here and there. Um, as you move along, you'll see, the, so here's like the windows that are more towards the back of the sail barge. These actually open and I'll show you that in a minute when I actually get to the, the interior. And yes, there's a full interior. <laughs> Uh, the stabilizers, and these were copied off of the official sets as well. And then the repulsor uh, propulsion unit in the back as well. So if we zoom out, you can actually, and actually I'll we'll get a little closer look here, and you can kind of see what's going on. So the engines in the back, so I, I lengthen these. On the official sets, it's not, I don't think they're quite as long here, and they're also not as detailed. Uh, so these, there's just a lot of um, curved slopes in the back here and a lot of tile work. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but I think it captures the look and feel of, um, of the, the engines in the back. And then just real quick, you can see the bottom here. So it's just some, some inverted slopes and then just some textured bricks just to give it some, some, a little bit of differentiation from just being a solid gray mass of blah. Um, and then of course the bottom, it's just a whole lot of plates that's actually holding, holding everything together. Now the really cool thing though, that I'll show you is of course, there's a full interior. So this, they just, these just flip open. They actually sit on hinges that you can see along the, along the bottom here. So these panels, all of these open and you see there's the big guy himself sitting in his little throne area. And then here is R2D2 and Boba Fett hanging out in the bar. And then as we move along, you can see this area here, which is just a basically a little rest area for and there's Ula and there's one of Jabba's guards hanging out and of course there's a little there's a little weapons rack right here and there's some chairs from the sit on and a nice like reclining lounge chair the other thing that you'll see you can kind of see in the lighting's I'm still working on the lighting for these videos guys I tell you but you can see there's a little archway there there's actually bars back there and there's a jail so there's a, a door that leads to a jail and so I'm gonna rotate this thing around and show you on the other side here so same idea, it opens up. Oh, here's the big guy again. Or the big guy's backside, I should say. And hey, there we go. There's Chef Homer working in the kitchen. So we have a full kitchen for Jabba. He likes eggs, chicken legs, some 
concoctions there for the bar. And here's the backside of the bar with Boba Fett hanging out. And then over here, that, there's Han waiting to get fed to the Sarlacc. So there's a nice little jail cell here. This door actually opens. You can actually push it from the other side so you can actually get into the jail. Um, you know, I try to incorporate as much playability as I can in these sets as I build them. And so, um, like I say, this little door here actually opens. You can push it. It's easier to manipulate from the other side. I actually probably should put like a, a hinge or, or a, like some type of a texture brick here so I can actually open it from the inside. But then, of course, if I open it from the inside, Han would probably escape, right? So um, anyway, you can also kind of see how I did this. So this is based on, like, again, the official Lego sets with the slopes and, and whatnot and how it actually achieves its uh, shape. Um, and then you can also see the panels, how these are, these are substantially beefed up in order to support, otherwise these would be really flimsy, these doors. And so it's basically, it's almost three, three plates deep at its deepest part right in here. Um, and then there's also, so you can see here how the, like the windows open. And then I use these, um, the, the one by twos with this little, like, what is that? A little little, I don't know what that thing's called. What's that called guys? What is these are uh, rail. And so that actually keeps the windows from going like inward. So you can't push them in, you can just open them outward. And so you can actually adjust the windows just like in the movie, just like how they look and make them all staggered and, and like funky looking like that. And so you can kind of get that cool effect and you can kind of play around with it. Um, you kind of get, here's just like a front end view of it. So it's a lot of slope work in the front. Again, it was tricky. To, it's tricky to work with slopes in Lego. You probably could do like some type of plate wedge thing, kind of like I did in the back, which I'll show you in a minute. But again, I just felt for, for like strength, because this is, again, I, I try to design this stuff so that my kids can play with it easily and they can enjoy it. And so um, having too many plates as the structure, it doesn't make it very strong. So and it's kind of becomes really flimsy at that point. And so this sloped front is really strong. I did opt to not include the um, the cannon that's in the, the the newer official Jabba sail barge, which I have no idea. Well, I get why they did that for playability, but to me it just like ruined the whole effect of like Jabba's sail barge. Like why in the world would he have a cannon from the pirates in the front of his high-tech repulsor craft? I have no idea. The other thing you'll notice is I try doing just to, so it's not just a big, ugly brown mess of blah. I have um, just some dark gray texture along here just to differentiate. And again, so in these parts in the, in the, on the doors here, the, these uh, piping, or these are actually, um, well, they're not the pipes, but these are like the rods. So those are also the dark gray, just to give it a little bit of a color pop. So it's a little bit different. Um, and then as I'll loop around here, you can see the back and you can kind of see how I created the slopes in the back just to give that kind of rounded appearance because it's not flush at all it's actually more rounded than this in um, you know in the, in the official uh, Return of the Jedi studio model it's much more rounded but again in Lego I didn't know how else to do that and so I kind of just did my best and it's all locked in place with um, brackets and hinge plates and so that's kind of how everything sits fits together here um, these, you can also take these off really easily and you can kind of get a close up of how these look. So the, again, these are just really strengthened with lots of little wedges and stuff. And they just, they just pop right on with the, the two by two brick, which actually holds it pretty well. Um, so you can take those off though, if you want to like lay it down on the ground, because if, if you do see, if you kind of see what happens, this will actually hit the ground. If you try to open it when it's like playing you're playing with it on the ground um job has also got a little mat that he's sitting on in there and again i plan to add there's some gold there's a few gold like trinkets in the back in the corner here that you can't really see um i'm going to add a little bit more detail here here and there uh oh my stabilizer fell off <laughs> um you know add a few more crew members and whatnot probably add luke to the top deck and princess leia she's like currently hanging out in java's palace but um let me see if i can grab my stabilizer but Anyway, that is, again, you can just kind of push it on there. It's fairly stable. But anyway, that is my Java Sail Barge. And I'll give you a quick preview behind here because I know you guys really want to see. So that's the new and improved Java's Palace. The top part is unchanged. 
It's the bottom is where all the changes have come into. So I redid the texturing on the front. If you remember the old one, the stairs actually went all the way up to here. I shortened the stairs. There's actually the spiral staircase now. It's actually hiding behind this sail that you can't see. There you go. So there's the spiral stairs right here, which allowed me to shorten up the walkway up to the top and let me have a lot more detail on the top. Um, but overall, I think it, it works. It just goes really good together. So you have Java's Palace and of course Java's Sail Barge. Now I know a few of you guys have told me that I need to build a garage in the palace for the sail barge. I don't know if that's gonna happen anytime soon because as you can see, this thing's like bigger than the two base plates of Java's Palace already. So the garage would have to be like at least two base plates big. Um, a lot of, a lot of dark bluish gray rock pieces to make that work, but you never know. I might do something like that. I don't, yeah, I've done crazier things, right? Um, so anyway, so there you have it. That's my, uh, take on the Java sail barge parked in front of my custom Java's palace. <laughs> and, uh, I promise I'm going to be doing a video on the Java's palace, the new and improved version of that really soon as well. So thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like it. Give me your comments on this too. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like this one? Yeah, is this pretty cool? Um, have you modified a Java sail barge or do you just kind of keep them as is? Have you done any of your own work on them? Um, do you have any, you know, how, how do you handle that? Which one do you like better of the official ones? Do you like the original one with the, the upside down pirate ship hole pieces or the second version with the slopes in the front? Uh, and the, the totally awesome play cannon. I'm kidding. Not totally awesome. Not cool. <laughs> Anyways, I will be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.